So a bit of hunter chasing for me this week, then there's Stu has taken on the bulk of today's com, so thanks very much to Stu for that. And a three mile six furlong naught to one hundred is what I've got to start with. Glenn Fly Fredlocked for Alex Cherry, Ridam for Daniel French, Evident Pride, Matt Cooper, Orange Panzer, Kevin Meenahan, Rock City for Derek Hinton and the Oil Magnate for Matt Cooper. I'm afraid there will be no interesting facts about the course or anything from me as I'm not an expert on these point to points like Stu now, calling it away and a very short one to the first ah, they've all safely got over it six runners then so it'll be just one unfortunate one that doesn't take home any, any prize money presuming that five of them finish as they get to the second and the oil magnate was Trying to be the first one to not finish there, making a bit of a mistake at the second, but Stable Companion Evident Pride leads into this huge looking ditch, which they all get over nicely. And Evident Pride is in the lead, the rest of them virtually in a line, with the exception of the two Matt Cooper horses who are first and last, Evident Pride and the Oil Magnate. They get to the fourth, and this time it was the leader's turn to make the mistake, and he subsequently surrendered the lead to Glen Five Redlock on the inside, who's gone off. So Glen Five Redlock then. Just about in front of Evident Pride in second. And then Rock City and Red Darm with the Oil Magnate and finally Orange Panzer. They've still got a long way to go. They've still got an entire Gold Cup distance to go. Three miles and two furlongs as they get over the next and they're all safely over that. Don't we'll be seeing any of these in the Gold Cup though come week 11 or 12, 10 or whatever it is. It's Evident Pride who's in the lead. Glen Fife Redlock is in second, with Darm is in third, and then Orange at Panzer fourth, and the oil magnate on the outside of Rock City. At the sixth of the 27th, they're all safely over that one. We have Evident Pride back clearing the lead again from Glen Fife Redlock. And then Red Darm, and the Orange Orange at Panzer, the oil magnate, and finally. Rock City into the seventh. All safely over that one or two of them, a little bit ponderous over it, but safe enough. So they continue to make their way towards the next two and three quarter miles still to go. And it's time for another ditch. They look big, but they look soft. And they're all safely over it. Evident pride in front. And on Orange at Panzer has just poked its head into second. On the inside of that one, Glen Fife Redlock, and the outside of it is Redarm, and then a gap to the Oil Magnate and Rock City, who is just the back marker. They get over number nine. I don't know if Derek Hinton is a frequenter of Rock City, but I've been there quite a few times, and some decent nights there, seen some pretty good bands over the years at Rock City in Nottingham, and it's Evident Pride who takes. The lead over that one takes them in the lead over it. We're in second place with Darm and Orange at Panzer. And Glen Fife Redlock. Bit of a gap to the Oil Magnate and Rock City, the back marker. Of course, Rock City was also a pretty decent horse for oh, Jimmy Fitzgerald, I think, in the 80s. As they get over that one, he didn't jump that one too well, though. And it's evident Pride is in the lead. Orange Panzer second and Red Darm is third. Then the Oil Magnate and Glen Fife Redlock. And finally Rock City bringing up the rear as they pass the winning post and the stand. Pretty respectable looking stand for a point to point course. And Evident Pride is in the lead. With Stable Mate, the Oil Magnate now move through into second as they get over number 13. Still got another 14 to go. Evident pride in front from the oil magnate in second. Matt Cooper enjoying a decent first season. Orange Panzer in third for Kevin Meenahan. And Glen Fire Fredlock on the inside for Alex Cherry. And Alex, who's had another busy week, standing in for great. Hold on to Alex. Some dramas this week with winning posts at Sandown, I understand. Causing a few problems, we had a 
rerun of a flat race where there was a maiden that was, wasn't a maiden and wanted to have to be run again. <laughs> it's been a baptism of fire for him the last two weeks, but uh, doing a good job. So well done, Alex, as they get over the water. And Evident Pride is the leader from the Oil Magnate in second. In Glen 5, Fred Lott is third. Rock City fourth. And then Redarm and Orange Panzer at the back. And they're all still on their feet. They're all jumping nicely enough. One or two of them have made a couple of mistakes, but nobody has made continuous mistakes as they come into number 17. It's a queue for about three of them to fall at the next. And it's Evident Pride and the Oil Magnate 1 and 2. From Redarm as they get to this ditch which they all get over nicely Rock City making a bit of a forward move they haven't rule anything out of this yet they're all in with chances they've still got a mile and a quarter to go and they've still got a good eight fences to get over as they get the neck over the next one. Oh, and this time he was down on his nose the oil magnate he's recovered well a bunch of people just standing in the middle of the race course there for some reason maybe it's cheap seats or you get for in for free over there but a strange place to stand on what's a racing. Evident Pride is in the lead. From Orange Panzer second. And then we're done. I suppose if you want to know who's in the lead with a mile to go, it's a perfect place to stand. And get over number 20. And all safely over that one. And Evident Pride in front. Orange Panzer second. And then we're done. And Glen Fife Redlock. After that one, Rock City and the All Magnet is now the back marker again well inside the final mile now and evident pride it's been in the lead pretty much all the way I think he got overtaken for half a furlong or so by Glen 5 Fredlot all over that one nicely evident pride two lengths up on Orange Panzer he's got a couple of lengths on Glen 5 Fredlot the leading three Rock City has been driven up on the inside of Red Darm the oil magnet just a back marker as they get over 22. Oh, there's a crashing fall there. Glen 5 Redlock's gone. I think he put a foot wrong so far. Glen 5 Redlock. He's been jumping nicely. He just didn't take off of that one at all and went right through the top of it and gave the jockey no chance as they get over that ditch. And uh, Evident Pride is now five clear of Orange Panzer in second. With Darms in third. Rock City is in fourth. And the oil magnet is in fifth. As they. Make their way towards the next, which will be the fourth from home, I think. And Evident Pride gets to it, pops over in the lead. The jockey was having to look around and see where the rest of them are. Orange Panzer has dropped back just a little bit. Rock City is now the main danger and is coming up to join the leader. So Evident Pride just being given the hurry up and Rock City just strolls past him as they get over the third last. And going even better is Redami on the outside. So it's Rock City and Redami have gone on then as Evident Pride says no more. Orange Panzer is back after that one. Then the Oil Magnet and suddenly these two are pulling clear. Rock City and Redami is between these children. They've got two to jump. They're coming to the second last. Over it they go. Slightly better jump by Rock City on the near side. Redarm looks stronger on the far side. And Redarm comes into the final fence in front. Gets over it nicely. Rock City over it in second. It's only a short run in. And Redarm is going to take it. Sat quietly all the way through the race. And then pops into the lead over the last. From Rock City second. All Magnet run on for third. Orange Panzer fourth. And the long time leader. Evident Pride was the last one to finish in fifth. But we'll still pick up a few quid. And... Redar, oh, that one really, really goes at it, really. In the end, for Daniel French, Rock City for Derek Hinton was second. The Oil Magnate for Matt Cooper was third. Orange Panzer, Kevin Meenham was fourth. And Evident Pride for Matt Cooper again was fifth.